Good morning, it's me. I'm back. I'm Stephanie Flath, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I'm coming to you live Wednesday morning, August 25, um, at 10.30 a.m., and I'm so excited to be here with you. While people are coming on, let me know when you get here, and I'm going to refresh my screen here on the computer so that I can see comments. Um, uh, Sherry's here. Good morning, Sherry. And Debbie is watching. Hello. Oops. And Debbie shared already. Thanks. <laughs> okay. So, I have an announcement to make that is very important, but I'm going to wait until more people are on so that you hear me. Because um, it's important for demonstrators, for customers, for anybody crafting, anybody that uses stamp and seal. It's very important, the announcement. So, um, so while people are coming on, and before I tell you that, I'm going to remind you, hi Di Diane, I can see I think Linda's on. Um, so while you're coming on, just a reminder, I have a an All Occasions card class next week. Um, Tuesday it's just in the evening seven o'clock sometimes I do morning and evening but not for that class for some reason I'm not really sure why <laughs> um, but anyway it is um, it's a good time to um, bring people that you're wanting to introduce to stamping so if you have new friends um, that you that you want to share stamping with that's a good class to come to so it is we make six cards to each of three designs and um, hi Marilyn <clears throat> and um, uh, to each of three designs and honestly I don't remember did I, did I put it over here nope I did not put which cards I think I read I just looked at it recently I think it is birthday get well and either thinking of you or thank you something like that hi Janet um, <laughs> And again, I have people calling me. <laughs> that doesn't work well when I'm going live. Um, so anyway, it is next week. It's $15 or free with thanks for sharing already, Marsha. Um, $15 or free with a qualifying purchase, which is um, $25 or more. So obviously, if you need more celebration items, you need to spend more than that. <laughs> celebration, in case you are new to me, new to Stampin' Up, um, the with every $50 that you order, you get a free celebration item. There are some, and there, it's from a special brochure. If you don't have it, let me know. Um, and if you, uh, there are some items that you need to place a $100 order for instead. There's just a few of those. I think they're all towards the back. I think that's how Stampin' Up! has the brochure. Suddenly, oh, hi, Jamie. Happy retirement still. <laughs> it makes me happy when I have, when I have um, people who are suddenly retired or just, you know, they can come on just whenever and join me. I love that. But I also love when you can watch the replay. That's great, too. So, um, I keep having things pop up, so I'm sorry. Good morning, Cheryl. I was just talking about you um, last night and your first live. I was sharing it with um, Sherry was at my class last night. <laughs> I just love you. <laughs> okay. Um, um, all right. So I'm going to wait for my randomizer. I'm not usually I want to start that out so that I don't forget. But now that I have a few people on, quite a few people. Hi, Terry. Hi, Lenny. Um, I'm going to tell you my big announcement. It's a, it's a game changer, I'm telling you. So, um, last week I was working on my, and I will put this on my blog and share with more people and all that kind of stuff. Um, but last week I was working on my, <laughs> thank you, um, working on my tags for um, our crafting retreat for our goodie bags. Um, they're so fun. And I had lots of little pieces to attach to the tags um, with as many tags as I was making. There were lots of little pieces. And 
you know me, I'm a stamp and go kind of person. I don't pull out stuff that I don't have to, so I don't often pull this out. But I decided to pull out my, um, my crafty, what is it? The, the technical name, I call it my silicone mat. The technical name in the catalog is the silicone crafting sheet. I decided to pull this out so that I wouldn't make such a mess with my adhesive all over my work surface because I was doing so many things and as usual I was behind and everything. <laughs> so I needed as much help as I could get. So I pulled that out and let me tell you, it is amazing. Um, okay, bye Nancy, praying for you, love you. Um, it is amazing um, tool. So I was working with it with my stamp and seal and customers and demonstrators alike have had a problem with this and um, it's frustrating when you can't get something to work that like we use this all the time and when I used it with my um, crafting my silicone mat I couldn't get it not to work and I know that sounds ridiculous, but I couldn't. Um, now last night, I, if you, you, basically you need to come off your paper and onto the silicone mat. So I'm telling you now, I'll be showing you later. Um, it, it's a game changer. It, using the silicone mat, like, it's ready for the next, next piece when I'm, as long as I'm working on this mat, the, the goober that you end up with that sort of strings wherever, it goes back onto the roll rather than wherever on your paper or whatever, and it's ready to go. Ha! Huh, I love it. So if you don't have a silicone crafting sheet, you need to get one, and you need to use it, and you need to tell everybody that you know. So that's my public service announcement for the day, and I'll be showing you um it later because I will be using adhesive obviously um okay so now I'm gonna go to my randomizer so I have everybody loaded up anybody again who's new to me might be watching for the first time yes it's wonderful <laughs> Hi, it was amazing um thank you for the plug Sherry I appreciate that um really it like saves your mind honestly Okay, so anybody who's new to me um, and hasn't stamped with me before or come up to my live, watched my video, um, every week I make at least one project, usually two, sometimes more, um, and I give away what I make. So um, when to help me and to help others, I would like you to share my video. So um, when you share my video, come back and tell me that you shared it, just like Lenny did just now. And um, because I can't tell when you do it always. Some people I can tell, and it, it just depends on the settings. Lynn is with me. Hi, Lynn. And Marilyn shared. Thank you. Um, so when you share, um, for the next week, I load you up in my randomizer. I have a website that I go to every week um, and load up all my names who have shared my video. And then I just push a button and it picks names for me. So last week, oh, last week was a fun one. Last week was our pinwheel card. <coughs> excuse me. And I saw, <coughs> excuse me, just a sec. I had several suggestions of what stamp sets to use to make more pinwheel cards. And um, a couple of you shared either made it and came and shared with me Saturday at the crafting retreat or um, Linda actually was making them at the, at the crafting retreat and sold some. <laughs> I love that. They're like, we need one of those. Um, and I think both of you already shared. I, I saw that Linda did for sure. And right as I was getting on, I saw that Terry was sharing. So um, I assume that's what she was sharing. So anyway, so much fun. So I have one using Party Puffins. That's what I made last week. And I have one card that I'm giving away today. Because I just made one. It was a detailed card. So, um, I'm running my randomizer right now. And Marsha Hill, you won! woo -hoo! Congratulations! I need to write you down. Um, and... 
um, I had a pen here. I have a marker. Oh, there it is. Um, and even though it's definitely a 3D card, it is, um, hi Lynn, um, it is made so that it can flatten and fit in a normal size envelope. So eventually I will get that out to you. I have some of them, um, I still owe some people some cards in there. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Why can't I keep it going? Um, you're welcome. <laughs> um, I have them in envelopes that those of you that I owe cards to, and I don't know why I had to stop, but I'm like, I, I get in this cycle and, I, and I'm on the wrong track. I'm like, I, okay, I need to stop. This is not, can't be my priority right now. When I have a crafting retreat in two days, I can't be sending out a bunch of mail. <laughs> so hopefully it will be going out soon, but I've been uh, struggling, not struggling exactly, scrambling, I guess we'll call it, for a few days now, even since my crafting retreat. So I'm here though, and I'm ready to share a card with you. So did any of you have any guesses? I didn't go see if you had guesses for what kind of fun fold I was doing today. I haven't even made one in a long, long time. And oh, hi, Rachel. I'm praying for you. I hope you are... Oh, well, I know how you're doing because you've given us updates, but I'm glad to see you here. That makes me happy. Um, so did anybody have any guesses for the fun fold that I'm doing? I've not made one in a long time at all. It's not really difficult, but you know, these special fun folds are a little bit time consuming. And I've not at all. Um, oh, thank you for sharing. Is it Jeannie? I think it's Jeannie. Um, thank you. <clears throat> I... These fancy fun folds uh, are time consuming. And um, anyway, I've not made this on my live at all because it, it's for sure been that long since I've made it. Um, I don't remember. Anyway, did anybody have any guesses? I don't see any. I'm gonna wait one more minute. So I will tell you, while I'm waiting for you to guess, I will tell you that I'm using, I'm not a Halloween person. But I got this designer paper free on um, my incentive trip. And um, I'll show it all to you here. It's just adorable. It made me need the stamp set or the bundle because it comes with a punch that does the ghost. And there's a cat face. I don't know where the punch is though. A ghost, a cat face, and I think a pumpkin maybe? I don't remember. But anyway, I'll show you the designer paper really quick. Um, this, these say boo all over the place. Uh, I love their faces. They're too cute of faces. Um, stripes and polka dots, just for dot. I miss her being on, but she'll come back at, back and watch it. And these are candy corn and bats, summer upside down and pails, pumpkin pails. So how did you guys trick or treat when you were younger? If you did it. Did you have a special pail? Did you just bring a pillowcase? How did you do it? I remember having a pail, but I didn't have a little pail. I had a big, tall pail. And we would come home and mom would steal. She would always get the Snickers, or maybe it wasn't even stealing. We would be, we would be like, I love you, mom. You can have the Snickers. That was her favorite. <laughs> but we always spread all our candy out and we would, we would, um, um, like barter, like you you can have this and I can have. You had a pillowcase, Linda. <laughs> we would barter what, um, like you can have this, I can have that. All right, so here are the sheets. This is by far my favorite, but I just love these sweet faces on here. Okay, you used a pillowcase too. <laughs> I had a seriously, it was like a two foot tall bucket. <laughs> big old pumpkin I think my brother had a smaller one because he was younger um, but I, my sister and I we had big tall ones it was amazing okay so I'm going to put you down in a minute but I'm going to tell you first um, now Todd and Tyler are gabbing <clears throat> and have me included in it um, 
I'm going to do a waterfall card. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but they're really fun to have. And it's not too difficult to make, but like I said, it's just a little time consuming. So I'm going to show you start to finish um, how you make it. Um, I did not write down, here's your score lines. I guess I could do that, but I don't have a Sharpie so you can see it well. Well, I'll tell you, <clears throat> they're gabbing still. I'll tell you, um... I'll tell you where I'm cutting or scoring and then I'll make sure that I put them in my comments. Do you guys ever go back and check the like the body of the the video? I go up and I put all the measurements in it and the products that I use and stuff like that. I'm trying to help you so I will be doing that. So I'm gonna put you down. Um, remember you still can gab at me or ask questions or whatever because I have my computer up so I can see comments. So I have my magic wand. I'm gonna unbackwards you, put you upside down, and then put you down. Okay, here's my um, silicone crafting mat that you need. If you didn't hear me, you need this tool. It makes the stamp and seal work wonderfully. <clears throat> I'm gonna set it aside for right now. It's been a long time since I made one. Yeah, I haven't made one in a long time, and I probably only made one, like I did it to show everybody and whatever. Okay, so here's my paper trimmer. So I have a piece of um, basic white. This is nine inches long and two inches wide. And before I start scoring, just so I don't do the wrong thing on the wrong thing, I'm gonna make a tag end on this. So I'm using this. <sighs> I don't remember the name of this tag punch. Does anybody remember this name or you have your catalog open or whatever? Um, oh, I have my catalog closed. Just sec. I'm gonna I'm gonna check for it. Um, right here. So it's not a tag builder punch, it's a tag delightful tag topper. Those they're tag topper punches. And it's delightful. <laughs> Okay, so this tag topper, if you've not seen any punches like this that have the, these little ledges on them, um, they're intended for you to be able to do um, multiple sizes um, with one punch. So this bottom one is one inches wide, the next level is one and a half inches, and the top level is two inches. And when you measure for it, hopefully I did it right, did it well, you want to measure just inside, um, I pinch it a little bit, just inside the line, the two inch line. So then it fits in this little slot well. So I'm gonna tuck this all the way in. I don't wanna do it on my paper trimmer though. Tuck it all the way in so it's all the way to the back. And so I have a tag topper end sort of thing, okay? Now on the other end is where I'm gonna do my scoring. So I'm done with that for now. So on the other end, I'm starting with scoring at two inches, and I'm gonna do three quarters of an inch um, each time I score. So I started at two inches, then I'm going to two and three quarter, then I'm gonna go to three and a half, and then I'm gonna go to four and a quarter. Okay, so I have, you can't see them, but there's a score, 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 score. So now what I wanna do, that's all the, the cutting that I'm gonna, or cutting and scoring that I'm gonna be doing on camera. The rest of my little pieces that I have are already cut. Um, so now that we have that, we want to um, crease it well. Um, an important part of any fancy fold is to crease well on your score lines. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so once it's completely folded like this, with this length that I'm doing, this will be, um, so here's my card base. So it's um, a little bit shorter than the card. Um, so I'm making a normal size card 
and this is almost covered up but not quite there's this hole peeking out here that we'll put some ribbon in for a pull thing okay so uh, the next thing that I want to do is um, I'm gonna stamp the inside so I am using this stamp set um, oh and I forgot my cushion just a sec I do want a cushion for this just a second We don't sell these anymore, but hi, Carrie. I'm glad you're here. We don't sell these anymore, but I'm using our paper piercing mat that we used to sell. Um, so, okay, I'm doing something that I tell you not to do um, almost every week, um, but I also have my um, Stampin' Mist and Stampin' Scrub close by. Sorry for the bouncing. I'm hooked up to... Um, my, I'm so sorry, stuff was in the way. I'm hooked up to my phone charger because, um, I forgot that I needed to make sure I was charged, so I'm plugged in. Okay, so I'm using, um, stays on with my photopolymer, but I have my stamp and scrub and mist close by because remember you don't want to use stays on on photopolymer without cleaning it right away because um, it can damage the um, the photopolymer the the material um, so I'm cleaning it as soon as I'm done with it um, and also this stamp can you see for this stamp I actually cut it it it, it was a great long it says have a Oh, this bundle, what is this bundle called? I'm going to look it up. It's Halloween. I better look in the back rather than trying to guess where it's at. Just a second. There are bundles shown here, and then in the back there's individual stuff. So, cutest Halloween bundle. That's appropriately named. So, here's the punch. Oh, I was right. There's the, the ghost, the cat, and the pumpkin. And then here's just a sample with it, with it. So, this is all one stamp that's long like that. Have a fabulous Halloween. But with how I wanted to use it, I cut my photopolymer stamp up. Um so that I could get it to fit where I wanted it to. Now, I actually love doing this with photopolymer because um, even if you want to use it long again, the cut lines are still there. They can go right back into the position on a block where they were originally designed. So um, it makes it very versatile. Okay, so I have my stays on. I'm gonna ink this up. Test it out. Ooh, pretty good. So I'm going to put this on here. Have a fabulous Halloween. So this is basically going to be like the inside of my card. Okay? So I'm doing it on the long part on the tag topper end. And the tag topper end is going to be at the bottom of my card. So... You can see that I have it like that. Okay, there's another stamp that I'm gonna use to make it cute. Hi, Kathy. Um, I am making a waterfall card today. So I'm stamping candy corns on there. And since I'm at it, I'm just gonna color it right now because it doesn't take much time. And then I'll get to the rest of it. I think I remember looking it up in the the yellow part of the candy corn is at the top. I think I have to look it up every year or every time that I actually go to make candy corn. I'm not a candy corn lover unless I'm eating them with peanuts because then it tastes like a payday uh, candy bar. That's yummy. Okay, so here is my, um, here's the inside. And I gotta double check the one that I have made and make sure that I am doing it at the right place. So just a second. Cause I did this last week and now, and now I just have to double check. 
Okay, so I have pieces. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to set this aside for right now and I'm going to build my pieces that I'm going to put on here. Okay. So I have pieces that I'm going to use. So one is just this. <laughs> These crack me up. The little Dracula bats sort of thing. And I need my mat and I need my seal and I'm going to have it on there and then so these are cut just short of two inches and it's gonna go on pumpkin pie that is two inches so I'm gonna put that there um, I'm going to stamp I gotta find the right side I'm gonna stamp here trick-or-treat on this one I'm gonna test it out just photopolymer and Fabric pads don't like each other very well sometimes. That's good. Now I gotta clean it right away. Remind me to clean it if I if I don't do my job. Because I am not trying to ruin my stamp set. It's definitely stained, but I don't mind stained stamps. It just has to be, you know, not like that. Okay, so putting this on. So you can see that I'm using this mat which is amazing for doing with adhesive this works for with a um, with hot glue it hot glue won't stick to this um, our seal our snail that we used to have it does not stick to this so it either sticks onto your um, your paper or it goes back onto your um, the cartridge so helpful so much okay so here's another one that I'm gonna do um, I love this I don't know about you guys I don't know how you are but I don't use the terminology I don't call anybody my boo I don't have I, it, it wasn't a thing I, it just I, I don't um, I don't have grandkids I don't call my husband that but for some reason, I love this saying, hey boo. <laughs> um, so I had to have it, gotta clean it. For anybody who is just coming on, I'm cleaning this after every single stamp, unlike normal, because I'm using photopolymer with stays on and um, stays on is solvent based, dries quickly and it can dry it out. Okay, so I stamped this sort of on black so I want to help it, so I'm adding some black um, marker to here too, just outlining it more so that it definitely can be seen. I asked Todd about this when I was designing this. I used this for a swap for one of my groups. I asked him about this and he's like, it's just too, it's just too, you can't see it well. But I just loved this piece of designer paper so much and I wanted hey boo on it. So I went against him even though I asked for his opinion. <laughs> I always hated when people would do that. Don't ask me your opinion if you're not going to use it. <laughs> when, when Liz was younger, uh, that was a very common, especially about clothes. Um, she would ask something and then do the exact opposite of what I told her. <laughs> like, okay. All right, here's my hey boo. Love it. Okay, now this one is a little bit more involved, but not too much. Um, but it shows so much cuteness. I love it. Okay, I'm going to put this aside for a minute. No, it'll help you see it. Okay, so first thing that I want to do is... Oh, where did I go? Uh-oh. Where's... I don't know where my stamp set is even. I'm missing one of my pieces. And it's important... Just a second. Oh, I put it back on my sheet. Here's the stamp set, by the way. I didn't even have it pulled out to show you. I just started with the designer paper. So, cutest Halloween. So, you have, for this stamp set, you have the outline, and you have the inside if you want to color it. For all of these, there's the, um... The ghost, the pumpkin, 
and the cat, which those are all part of the punch. And then there's this skull also. Fortunately, he has a happy face. <laughs> um, anyway, now I need a black. Just a second. Okay, so I'm going to stamp my ghost in high... Oops, this is on here. Weird. I'm going to stamp my ghost in Highland Heather. That's one. That's the purple that's in this designer paper. And then I don't need to clean that right away because that's not... It stays on. But then I'm going to do the cute face and hands from it. I'm going to stamp that right here. <laughs> He's so cute, isn't he? And then, okay, i got to clean it. It's really annoying to have to clean after every single time. Like, if I were just making a bunch of these like I did, um, I would do this stamp on all my pieces and then clean it. But um, I'm just doing one card, and I don't want to wait. Because it's not good for it. Okay. So this says, you put a smile on my face. That's what I love about these, these, um, this set and this designer paper. Just the sweet faces are too cute. Okay, clean it again. Okay, and then one last stamp, and then I'm done stamping, I think. This one doesn't tend to stamp very well, so I might have to color it in a little bit. <laughs> there's this, you wouldn't think I would call it this, but there's this adorable little spider that I had to get on there. All right, done the stays on, one more cleaning. So these are definitely stained which is okay, but I cleaned the actual ink on it, off of it. All right, one last thing that I need to do on for the spider is just make, make the, um, am I on camera? Yeah, make the web, there, the string come down. So I'm just drawing that with our, you can buy um, the black Stampin' Write markers individually. Um, the rest you have to buy in the color family. How cute is that? I love it. Okay, so again, I'm putting this on. Notice how I didn't have any problems with my adhesive? I'm coming off onto this mat every single time. Well, other than the middle. Okay, so my pieces are all ready. I need four, four pieces. I did four score lines, so that's what we're going to be doing. All right, so now, um, <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to make sure that I have this right again. So that's the farthest up. up, up. Okay. I just don't want to do this wrong and then be upset. So this. Okay, so this last one, um, this this one that's going to be on, uh, it's going to be the last one that you see. Um, you two what? I don't I don't know what me too was to. Sorry, Marshall. Um, all right, so this the last one that you're gonna see, it's gonna be completely on this two inch section here. So I'm folding it down onto itself, and this is gonna be on this two inch section, so. And I'm actually using Seal Plus for this because um, this type of um, card ends up getting I don't want to go off with this one though. I don't have as much problem with Seal Plus as I do with Seal. I don't want to go off the edge because this is really sticky and then I might make my all my cards stick together or something. So this one is going here. So I'm going to put it 
like right up to the score line. Okay, so I still can see the score line right here. So this is going on here. And then on this next one, so that's my last panel that I want you to see. This is my second to last. Oh, I didn't get that very close to this other part. I'm going to go in one more time. I kind of want it, want it close to the score line. Okay, so second to last one is um, you put a smile on my face. So they're all facing the same direction. This should be lined up sideways too, so it's all straight. And again, I'm going on, it's just below that score line. Um, then my, oops, don't put it all on the back of this. Don't get in that habit or you'll have a problem because then the whole thing will stick. Okay, so I'm putting on my, my strip on here. So this is my second one that you'll see. Lining up sideways, lining it up just under the... Um, score line and then here is my very top one so you definitely want to make sure that you're putting your adhesive fold on any that's coming over um, thanks for sharing um, fold on any adhesive that might be hanging over so you don't cause yourself problems I can't see something's in the way Marilyn says, I love waterfall cards. Thanks for sharing, Janet. This one's really cute. Oh, thanks. Um, I couldn't see it all. Something was up on my screen. Okay. So, I have my trick-or-treat. Hey, boo. You put a smile on my face. And then more smiles. Ah, I love it. Okay, so now here is what we're doing to put um, to put this together, I gotta remember. <laughs> I haven't done it in a while. Okay, so what I have, I'm gonna put this put this on here first. I would do want to put the ribbon on before I keep going. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of ribbon. This is probably too much, but I'm I'll trim it. So through the front, I'm gonna fold it in half and tuck the front in, or tuck that fold in. And then, this is what I call a bookmark knot. I don't know what truly what it's called, um, but I, I put the fold in through the front and then I'm gonna tuck the two ends through that loop that the fold created. And then I'll just pull it. Now, because you don't want this to rip, so you don't want to pull too hard, but you want it kind of snug, um, you can pull one one of the ends at a time. I feel like it's folding funny. Pull one of the ends at a time to get it as snug as you want it. It's not going right. Sorry, I'm starting this over a second. Something got folded goofy. There, now it's laying more flat. Okay, that's better. Okay, I don't want all this length on here. I just need something to be able to pull this. So I'm gonna cut all this off. You sort of need a little bit of length to be able to make that loop though. But I love this ribbon, it's my favorite, and it is actually part of this suite, or bundle, or, no, it is a suite, I think. I don't know, anyway, I love it. Okay, so here is an important step. <clears throat> I have this open. Um, I have this sort of with where the last score line is and where the bottom is. I have it sort of centered um, on this card. And I have another piece that I already put tear and tape on the two ends. It's as wide as the card, as wide as the base, card base is. 
and you need adhesive on both ends of this because this is what's going to hold the what it's going to be um, falling water falling around okay so I'll peel these off a second did I say thank you for sharing Janet I appreciate it I saw that it happened and I thought that I said it but now I'm not sure that I did okay so I need this on here kind of low so that I can see I don't want um, I want to still be able to see my my um, have a fabulous Halloween on here so I put it kind of low on here okay so now we're gonna fold this down and here's what we're doing um, for this part to make it be a waterfall um, we need just this bottom this base piece of the waterfall to be stuck to here this that's the only part that gets stuck to the base of the card okay so um, I'm I have it centered you might even want to make little notches or a little a, a slight little line here so that you know where you're doing it but I'm just going to do it with it in here and you definitely want don't want to go too far you want to go shorter than what the width of your waterfall is but I'm putting it on here and then I'm folding it like this making sure that it's even and I'm pressing it on here okay so the only thing that is stuck is this bottom piece so now when I oh one last part before I show you the magic oh I forgot to put any special I had designer paper okay I gotta see if I can get this up might have to reattach it I forgot to put some cute designer paper on the card base I was so busy with the waterfall. Okay, I'm probably going to want to put more tear and tape on here, but it seems I can get it off. Okay, somewhere here I have, I buried it. That's why I forgot about it. Just a sec, there's another piece of designer paper here that I need. That's not it. Okay, there we go. I'm, I'm using the... Well, I'll let you decide. Do you guys like this behind it? Or do you like this polka dot behind it? Hmm. All right. First, first comment, or first two comments, two out of three, whatever is best. I'm going to let you choose. Polka dots or candy? Sherry says dots. Marcia says dots. There it is. All right. So we we're putting. Oh, I don't need I don't need that the stamp and seal plus. I just need the regular. So, but I do need to be on my cushion since it's under there. All right. So this needs to be on here. So I cut this just short, four inches by five and a quarter for this, my card base. All right, now I'm gonna put more, hmm, I don't even have tear and tape out because I already had it set up. I'm gonna try stamp and seal plus on here. I better get this under there though. I hate when I forget to do something, that's annoying. Uh, sorry, Terry. You were you were uh, the third out of three, and your yours you were outnumbered. <laughs> okay. So now I need to put this back down, just in a way that it's centered on the card, basically. Cause that cause the waterfall is set up. I just haven't shown it to you yet. Okay. Now. Now is the last thing to do before I show you the magic. So these are part of the suite also, Cute Stars Adhesive Backed Sequins. So I'm gonna use some black ones. Since we didn't go with black on the, for the background, I'm gonna use black 
stars on here for a little bit of what's the word contrast that's the word okay so here we go this is our waterfall so we're gonna pull at the at the um, the tag or the the ribbon sorry so we have trick-or-treat hey boo you put a smile on my face And then you can see the last one. You have to pull a little bit harder for the last one because I have it so... It's better if this is just a little bit higher. Have a fabulous Halloween. And then you can push this back up. There's my waterfall card. Okay, so this is another one. <laughs> Thanks for being uh, agreeable, Terry. <laughs> so this is another one that would be so cute with other kinds of designs. And I thought about doing a different one... Um, either the penguins or the sheep on this because you don't have to have um like for the sheep it would not all fit on here but you get to have just the face <laughs> you can win next week it just depends on the randomizer marcia um but this would be you could have just the face of the sheep or have it coming in from the side if it's the hopping one or whatever so the sheep would be cute, the penguins would be cute. And I was going to do this, but I ran out of time because I'm always running out of time. Um, uh, and I just, I loved this designer paper. Um, so I definitely need to make one of these. Yes, they're very much fun. Okay, so here's another, the, the other design that I did. Or this is the one that I have left from my swaps. So I did the same trick or treat. Um, thank you. And I love the hey boo. You can't see it as well on the, the polka dots though. I just didn't like it as well. I, I don't know, that was just goofy. Here, I put, you put a smile on my face. I did it with the cat, but I liked my ghost better. And then it, this is my favorite design of paper. So there you go. So I think this one was a little bit higher on here. So I'm gonna pull this out and show you quick. Yes, the penguins would definitely be cute. Yeah, this one, not by much, but this one's a little bit lower on here. It, it would help you to have them higher up here. So then this, huh, this one is actually lower than this one. Anyway, having this a little bit higher gives you better leverage, I feel like. But so here they are. Oops. All right, so could you see these well enough with it down? Or do you need me to show you when I pull it up? Um, okay, so I'm going to un upside down you, put you backwards again, and pull you up. Hello. Um, okay. Just thinking. All right, so I'm going to show you one more time. This waterfall is amazing. I love it. Um, thank you. I love it too. I, it's just such a. F I told you I'm not a Halloween person, but I just love this. These sweet faces on here. Hey, boo. <laughs> <laughs> I love them so much and I wanted to make good use of the designer paper with the cute faces on it too so I was gonna try to get the punch in there but I was already this is a much more advanced card than what I typically do for my swaps um, did you see the seals made the penguin punch oh I did not see um, seals but I've seen um, I've seen, you probably can search either on Pinterest or something like that for, um, thank you ladies, um, what's the word, penguin punched, punch art or something like that, because I've seen several different animals, and um, I sent one to my sister, Teresa, um, she loves snowmen, and one of the cards that I saw had the had the penguin punch made into a snowman um excuse me so i should keep that in mind too to show you guys ideas all right i think i'm done um i've been doing long ones lately with just one card <laughs> okay so i <clears throat> remember to share the video a lot of you have shared already thank you so much um you can order this, um, anything that I just showed you, on my website, dazzledbystamping.com. I will come back with um, the measurements 
um, a little bit. That's usually the first thing that I do when I um, when I'm done when I finish the video. Like you literally click finish on your live. <laughs> uh, so I go back and I tell you measurements and whatever, and um, so you can order on my website. And uh, remember, I'll also post a link to my all occasions card class. Um, up in the thing too. Otherwise you can find that by going to my website. Also just click events and you can see whatever I have available right now. So um, thank you Lynn. It was wonderful to be with you today and I will see you again next week Wednesday 10 30 a.m. Eastern Time just like usual. Thanks for joining me. Bye.